All right, so today we're working on the Wolf uh, uh, con uh, propane conversion for a Wolf model ASK 30K1-1. Uh, maybe the serial number doesn't mean anything to you, but there's a number of different uh, burners that have this type of design. Uh, I believe that Wolf probably came up with this, but this design is not uncommon on some of the higher end decor models that you'll see out there. I do a lot of these decors that have two orifices per burner and in the corner, the front left and the front right burner look a lot like this burner. However, this one is a little bit different because uh, the burners on the decors usually have two, you know, a double stacked burner. Um, and sometimes they'll have a smaller button in the center, but this one here has a very small center you know, cap and then a bigger cap on the outside of it. That's when this is covered. So as you can see here, you know, gas comes in on one side and it comes on the, in, on the other side. So to pull this off, what Wolf does is they use uh, two different circuits, one for low burn and one for high burn. The low, low burn fuel goes in on this end, so when you open up the, the valve, the burner valve, you know, gas begins to come into this end and light up this burner. This burner here is capable of a very low, uh, it's about 385 BTU uh, at sea level. Uh, you know, there's a difference with altitude. This model that I'm doing is going to go up into a cabin, so it's going to be a different in, in altitude. So, very low burn here. And then the rest of the burn is done here. And that burn is, uh, I can't remember offhand, I think it's maybe 12 or 14,000 BTU, but the numbers are regardless. I just, I'm doing this video to show the technology involved with this burner, okay? So, uh, as you can see, I have a couple of different orifices here, okay? Um, the Viking unit uses, you know, a pointy top type orifice like this. I can't seem to get it in focus, but uh, there we go, focus, okay. Pointy top orifice is like, like this for the high burn side and a, just a little piece that goes on the inside. I'm gonna remove it here to show you what that is. So let me, let me put this over here, okay. While the, while the decor uses spuds, it uses a spud here and a spud there. The high end spud is a normal burner spud the low end spud is a spud that is specifically made for the gas to be introduced correctly into the into the low burn or into the low heat chamber. Uh, and I do machine those. I have to machine them because they're very specific uh, just to that model, and you have to get the flow right. That's why those orifices have to be very specific, and obviously the hole, which is actually the the orifice, has to be correctly uh, bored. Okay, so. All that aside, okay, so Decor uses these guys, Viking uses these guys, okay? I've never seen these guys before on this type of a burner. Uh, usually if you're going to look at, you know, these, these types of burners, you're going to see, uh, uh, it, usually when I see them on Decor, they always have the square spuds like these. As I said, this one's a custom spud. So I'm going to take these out of the picture now, okay? So I was talking about this part being inside of the low flame circuit. So... If you're going to convert this, and this is what this video is mainly, uh, this is how I, my involvement in these, I'm usually doing conversions on these, okay? You're going to change two orifices. You're going to change the low heat orifice, which is for the center part of the burner cap, okay? The very small flame, and you're going to change the high heat orifice, okay? As part of the conversion. So the high heat orifice, you know, it just kind of comes out like this. Take this guy out, you know, put the new guy in, and you're done on the high heat. The, the low heat orifice comes in from this side. So, you just kind of turn this off here, okay? You'll see a little piece here. And as you can see, this piece, which is that piece, gets replaced. This one has the bigger hole because it's natural gas right now to do it for propane you have to put it you have to put one with a very tiny hole in it okay so you're going to take this guy off of here okay you're going to put this guy onto here okay and i do make these that's why i'm showing this this is mainly for uh, my customers that you know are doing these conversions and then you're just going to put it back in there and bam you're now set up for low heat on propane okay 
Likewise, you know, this gets screwed in there and you're set up for low heat. Now, these burners are also, there's a certain amount of adjustability because you have to get the air fuel ratio correct for these. Now, maybe swapping from natural gas to propane, you know, you might need a little bit of an adjustment. Um, you know, you're going to inspect the flame once you get this thing lit and you want those flames to be perfect, you know, perfect little teepee top type flames, you know, you don't want it to be all flared out and you don't want it to be jumping off off of the burner. If it's jumping off of the burner, that means that there's not enough oxygen traveling up into the circuit, um, you know, to mix with the gas for the burn. Now, believe it or not, yes, air does travel up this tube and it travels up this tube via a window like this, okay? Now to adjust the air fuel ratio, you have to adjust these windows. So this little brass piece right here you know, moves around this window. If you can kind of see it here, there's a little bit of a window there, right? This little brass piece moves around that window and it will allow either more or less oxygen to get in there. And depending on what the flame's doing, you're gonna either adjust it for more or less oxygen to enter. Uh, if it's jumping off of the, you know, if the flame is jumping off of the burner, then obviously you gotta let more air in. If the flame is all flared out, you know, and maybe has some yellow in it, it's getting too much oxygen in there, so you got to balance that out right. And you can probably see other pictures uh, on the internet. You, I'm pretty sure you have a good idea what an, a good looking flame goes by. Flame is going to be very d well defined. It's going to be very tight. Okay. Now, likewise on this side, the adjustment is actually here. This is a, actually kind of a turn screw that will allow more or less oxygen, and it will lengthen this tube here to allow more or less oxygen to travel up this tube. And that's it. That's the, the basis of how this style of a burner will work on either, you know, some of the high-end Wolf models towards the end of Wolf. Uh, Wolf actually got, the commercial side of Wolf got sold to another interest uh, a long time ago. Uh, so I have not seen this burner on a Wolf oven. Uh, that's why it was kind of a treat to get this from a customer who actually sent this to me so I could kind of play around with it and get these, these little, you know, these guys right and get these guys right. So, um, you know, so it's on the Wolf, but it is definitely on the Gen Air. I mean, not on the Gen Air, on the decor units. However, again, it's going to use spuds like these, which have to be custom made. I actually custom make these, okay? Um, and you're going to have a spud on this end and a spud blowing gas into this end. And, you know, you change it out, and that's how you get these, these burners to go from natural gas to LP. Thanks for watching.